What's up guys, Bob Buskirk here at Think Computers and we're at CES 2013 talking to SwiftTech about their brand new H220 all-in-one liquid cooling system. We're here to introduce, it's a historical event for us, we're here to introduce the new H220 CPU cooling system uh, that is going to be available sometimes in February uh, in the channels and uh, that's the first time we are at CES, it was a very important event for us here to present this baby here right here. So let's get started. Let me show you what it's all about or yes? Yeah, yeah, go into some of the main features. I mean right. how it's different from you know the other uh, all in one liquid cooling solutions that sure. that we already you know yeah. that are already out and that we already see. So this is a uh, dual hundred and twenty millimeter radiator uh, with a, a CPU cooler that features an integrated pump. This unit ships exactly as you see it, it has the fans already installed, the tubing already installed, the unit is pre-filled. It is totally plug and play. And by plug and play, I mean plug and play. You set it up at the top of your case or the front of the case, put in the four screws for the CPU, and you're done. Turn it on and get rolling. The product is entirely PWM controlled, just like, a, just like any CPU cooler. And it comes with a PWM splitter here. You just connect your pump and your fans to the PWM, connect the PWM to the CPU fan header, and you're done. Now, what makes this unit very different uh, from other units out there is that when we designed this, three, we started designing it three years ago, we wanted to bridge the gap between all-in-one entry-level units and full-blown CPU cooling uh, or, or uh, cooling loops, custom cooling loops. Bridge that gap. And how is that possible? Well, it is possible because our radiator, although pre-filled, features a small reservoir right here, which has a field port. So, if you don't want to touch it, if you just are into CPU cooling, you just install it, plug it, forget it for the next three years. The product is maintenance-free th maintenance for three years, which is also the warranty period. But let's say you want to install a VGA, a chipset, an extra radiator. Well, you can disassemble, you can remove the lines. They are held on the fittings by custom hose clamps, which are really easy to uninstall and reinstall. You plug your new device, you open the fill port, you fill in the radiator with coolant, and now you have a custom loop. And this is what we will demonstrate later on in some of the systems that we have in full operations here at CES for you guys. And now this is, to my understanding, this is the only all-in-one on the market that you can really disassemble and make your own custom loop? Uh, in the United States, that is correct, to my knowledge. I know the, the, there are other units in Europe uh, that are being introduced. Uh, I haven't seen them. I don't know what they're all about. Okay. Yeah, so so that's, what's, that's what makes this product really unique is that, you know, if you do want to water cool your video card with this, you can use this product and then just add your video card to the loop and have a custom loop. The, the only thing I wanted to add to this is that the pump uh, portion of it, uh, it's important to understand and the custom loop guys out there, if you're listening to me, you know how important to have a pump with decent flow. And so when we design this particular pump, which we manufacture in our own factory, okay, so we are a pump manufacturer now at Swift Deck. Uh, we designed that pump, it has six watts of power uh, compared to other units out there uh, produced by Antec, Corsair and others uh, that average 1.2 watts approximately. So we have five times the pumping power with our pump, which is the reason why we can claim that you can add all kind of devices and that little pump will do it. All right, so behind me here, uh, Swift Tech has four systems set up, running at 4.6 gigahertz. All the fans on the water coolers are set to 1400 RPM. And the four uh, different setups they have, so they have a 
Thermaltake Water 2.0 Extreme, a Corsair H100i, and then they have their brand new uh, Swiftex own H220. And just to show how powerful the H220 is, they also have a system with the H220, and then they made it into a custom loop with uh, two GTX 680s in SLI in that same loop. So what they have here is they have a, um, a system here set up, a laptop set up, that shows you the current temperature and then the average temperatures over the last 10 minutes. Now if we're looking at this here, you can see that the um, Swiftec H220, their average temperature over the last 10 minutes is about 76 degrees. Moving down, the Corsair is 81 degrees and the Thermaltake Water 2.0 is 77 degrees. Now what's really cool, on the bottom here, you can see the Swiftec H220 with the two GTX 680s in the same loop is running at 80 degrees on an average. And if you look, that is the exact same as just the Corsair H1, H100i by itself. So you can really see how powerful that single H220 is, that it can, it can cool both two GTX 680s as well as the CPU running at 4.6 gigahertz and have the same temperature as a Corsair H100. So one of the main things with any type of cooling in your system is you want it to be quiet. Nobody wants to hear a turbine or something like that while they're gaming or overclocking. And the H220 really takes that into consideration. So what we're going to be doing here is we're doing a sound test of the H220 and the other two coolers that we just test. So this is on completely high speed, 100% fan speed on the H220. So if you guys can hear this. Okay, so next we have the H100i, and you're going to hear a big difference here. And finally here, we have the Water 2.0 Extreme, and again, you're going to see a big difference compared to the H220. So one thing that a lot of these coolers uh, have in common is they all run at 1400 uh, RPM speed on the fans and that's what we were running all of our tests on. But one thing that's cool about the H220 is that it can run at 800 RPMs and still have great cooling power and one thing that's great about that is completely inaudible. I don't even, I can't even tell if the system's on. I mean if I pull this over here, I know you guys can barely hear that and that's one really, really great feature of the H220. So one of the biggest features of the H220, which you've seen through this entire video, is the actual pump. And to really show the power of the pump, Swiftec has a custom system here with two dual 120 radiators. You have the exact same one that comes in the H220 up top, and then another one right here on the bottom. It's a dual 120. And on, on the front, you have a dual 140. So all of the water here is being driven through the one pump, and you have the two of Swiftec's Komodo uh, water blocks here on these two 7970s and this is all being run just by this single pump that you're going to get on this H220 so it really just shows how powerful it is and the H220 will be available uh, sometime very soon for a very low price of $139. So this wraps up our Swift Tech coverage here at CES 2013. We want to thank them for showing thank us around. You. Thank you Bob. Thank and you guys. And remember, uh, follow us on YouTube for all of our CES 2013 updates, and we'll catch you guys later. Bye.